All right, I'm chilling here in the attic. Dark, dingy place. Again, kind of used to filming in these areas. And today, I'm going to be looking at Batman Vengeance of Bane. The very first appearance of good old Bane over here. I think it looks looks a lot cooler here than he does in the movie. Got a better origin story too. But this is uh let's see. Nineteen ninety three. Nineteen ninety three. Yes, I am not in a crack house. I am in a <laughs> I am in a busted ass dingy attic. <laughs> Anyway, uh, let's get, on t get down to the nitty gritty of Bane's origin story. Because this is a good one. This is a really good one. So, there's a revolution on the island of Santa Prisca. Santa Prisca! And the dead were buried and the living were arrested. The three day battle in the capital left many questions to be asked and many names to be named. Names to be torn from the mouths of the insurgents. And those, and those names were removed from the world and taken to another, a place called Pina Dora, Pina Dora, the hard stone. All right, so Bane's mother is pregnant with him and she's serving time and the, the father is dead. So the law says a male, an unborn male, will serve the father's sentence after he's born. And there's little Bane. There's little Bane. Eh, poor little guy, man. <laughs> poor little guy. So, uh, see, here's another thing they kept out of the, uh, the Dark Knight Rises when it came to Bane. They took out his three goons, his three goons that helped him take out Bruce Wayne, helped him take over Gotham. This is Zombie. And, uh, there's little Bane. There's little Bane playing with his teddy bear while his mom's sobbing in the corner uncontrollably. So... Little Bane running around the prison. Sees, sees some bad things. Seeing some bad things. And... Mm, his mother's dead. His mother died. The boy would not allow himself a tear. He had become as hard as this place. His mother was weak. For that she died. So. This fat bastard over here. Uh, tells him to fend for himself. Sends him out to Gen Pop. This little this creepy bastard right here with the nose ring. Making uh, making remarks that he's going to have Bane, uh, little Bane running stuff for him. So, he encounters Bane. And then, here comes another one of Bane's goons. 
Trog. Uh, Trog blasts the fat guy with the nose ring in the face. Nose ring guy knocks in the bane, sends him flying off the balcony. Splat. Bane starts having a vision. And that vision is adult Bane. Uh, he tells him tells him he has to encounter his fear. And it's a bat. Hmm. So, little Bane gets out of the uh, infirmary. And, uh, he's got some business to attend to with the uh, nose ring guy. Hmm. And. As you can see, he makes quite a mess. So, fat mustache guy throws Bane in the hole, expecting him to die. As a little kid, throws him in the hole, expecting him to die. Look at this. Crabs, rats, he's encountering them all. He gets older and older, and see, he survives on anything he can catch. <laughs> Getting older and older and older. But, he's a survivor. And, uh, little bird right there. Uh, he has dreams of slaying the giant bat demon. Little birdie. Little Birdie comes to visit him. Little Birdie drops him a note that says, Bird. And who is Bird? That's Bird. Another one of his goons. But they drag him out of the hole. Mustache guy thinks that, uh, the population is going to kill Bane. But no. Sticking him in the hole in all those years. And having him survive every day on uh, rat carcasses and, and, and crabs and, and, uh, and fish. That's made him a bit of a folk hero. So. Bird starts to tell him about Gotham City. He's intrigued by it. So. He was illiterate when he went into the hole. Now he's enamored with reading books. So he reads every single book in the prison. So. While others had drugs and tobacco and sweets smuggled, Bane used his network to bring him in books. Hundreds of books on every subject matter. So he's basically just becoming a highly intelligent killing machine. That's, ba that's basically what it is. Training his tidy whities Getting into knife fights in prison. Bird tells him about Batman. Uh oh. Uh oh. Visions. He's having visions. So. Uh, here he is. After getting into a really, really vicious brawl. With everybody in the prison, it looks like. So. Seeing how hardcore Bane is, he decided to use him for a little experiment. A little experiment with a super steroid. 
and the experiments have been killing all the other uh, all the other test subjects. And he takes to it. His badassery and his toughness has proved that he can take to it. So him and Zombie have a plan. Where he fakes his own death. He fakes his own death. So him and his crew can escape. I right, just point this out too. They chuck his body into the water, thinking he's dead. <laughs> He breaks out of the sheets and the chains. He kills a shark. And the blood from that shark attracts the other sharks. Comes back on the island. Takes fat mustache guy hostage. There's zombie, trog, and bird. We got a helicopter. And uh Bye bye, Warden. <laughs> this is badass. This is a badass story. So, they're in Gotham. They're in Gotham ready to take over. Mm. Yeah, I gotta admit, I, lo I, love, I love that mask. That Bane mask. Hell yeah, that Bane mask. And, uh, they're making moves. They're making moves on the other crime gangs. They're making moves on the other crime gangs. Bane stalking Batman. Checking out his, uh, his moves, his mannerisms. Busting up more, uh, more people. And, uh, finally he encounters Batman. And he notices something. He notices that Batman doesn't kill. That is strange. A creature cloaked in a nightmare. A figure of terror in a city of terror. And yet you will not break the Sixth Commandment. Uh, so. You will know my name one day. And on that day you will beg for mercy. You're threatening me? Get in line. My name. God, I hated that voice. Scream it. Yep. So, Bane just bounces before the cops could break in. And. Yep. Yep. And that is Batman. Vengeance of Bane from 1993. Love this story. So, uh, that is my first attempt at Tales from the Attic. Tales from the Attic. Eh. Maybe I'll keep these going. I don't know. Uh, alright everybody, peace out, have a good one.